Hey guys, welcome to another episode about R programming. In today's episode, we are going to talk about formulas with OpenXL SX library. So, what formulas actually are? Uh, formulas are a wonderful feature of Excel document. It allows you uh, to do certain kinds of calculations and to put that uh, value as a result into any field you like. So, you could easily uh, transfer your result out of context. So this uh, R library uh, allows us uh, to uh, utilize uh, that uh, feature of uh, Excel document. In what way we are going to do that? First of all, we are going to use this code we already used in previous two episodes. And what this code actually does. In first line, we are importing our library. In second line, uh, we are importing our already existing document. Then we are going to uh, transfer that data into data frame object that is more uh, suitable for our purposes and then we are going to modify some of its data we are going to uh, rise every value from uh, column salary by 30 percent and then we are going to append uh, this piece of text to every value in column age and in third step uh, we are creating workbook we are adding this uh, first part worksheet uh, to our workbook and then we are going to write some uh, data to it and that data it's uh, going to be data from uh, this table object at the end we are going to export all of this to our new document and uh, in order uh, to uh, append the formula best position for that piece of code is here uh, just before we are writing our data to our worksheet. Now I'm going to explain you what we are going to do. I'm going to open this uh, document and uh, we are going to uh, use all of these uh, values and total of all of these values we are going to store in uh, E13. And what is important to know uh, it's index of this column. So column E it's actually fifth column and here we have 13th row so that is really important to know and now I'm going to create that formula formula it's actually collection of strings and it's going to contain only one string and that is syntax of our formula so we are going to use function sum and we are going to provide all of values from C2 up to C12. And how to append this formula to our workbook? It's actually quite easy with function write formula. And first argument is going to be workbook. Second argument is going to be sheet. First part. Third is going to be X and X is going to be formula and now start column with this argument you are going to uh, provide a column of a cell where we would like to store our result so e it's actually fifth column and start row is going to be 13 and that's all and I'm going to run this code right now. Everything went well. And let me show you the result. New example. And as you see, we have our results stored in E13. So we use all of these values. Uh, and total it's in here so uh, this is all for this episode if you like this content please subscribe and see ya